Hi, we're from the Galactic Center crew at UCLA. Um, my name is Tuan Do, I'm an astronomer. My name is Kelly Cosmo O'Neill, and I'm a PhD student. Uh, my name is Abhimad Gautam, I'm also a PhD student working with the Galactic Center group. So we're at the Keck Observatory in Hawaii, uh, where we just finished taking some uh, new observations of the center of our galaxy. We've been following up on some of the activity uh, that's been taking place recently with the supermassive black hole at the center of our galaxy. So you may have recently seen uh, a video that Tuan Do posted on Twitter uh, showing some of this activity. Yes, the video shows the brightening um, of the black hole in May of this year. And now this was the brightest we've ever seen the black hole to be. So we were really excited about that. And it seems like many of you were as well. And so we figured we would take uh, a little bit of time to answer some of your questions about this uh, event this year. So the first question that you all had is, how long ago did this happen? Uh, so we on Earth are about 26,000 light years away from the center of the Milky Way galaxy, where the black hole is that we're looking at. So that means the things we're seeing today happened about 26,000 years ago. Our second question is, if light can't escape a black hole, why do we see it? Um, so that is completely correct, and black hole, the black hole has such strong gravity that light can't escape. So when we say we see the light from black hole, we actually mean the light from around it. So as gas or dust falls in, it can heat up and, uh, and glow, basically. So our third question is, what is causing the brightening? So there's a few different things that we think might be causing the brightening. One is that uh, the star S02 recently went through the col uh, its closest approach to the black hole and that may have knocked some gas uh, closer towards the black hole to cause it to fall in towards the black hole. But the, we don't actually know the, uh, exactly what's going on, and that's something we're trying to learn more here at Keck Observatory with more observations. So the next question is, what is going to happen to Earth? Um, spoiler alert, nothing. Uh, <laughs> so the, like I said, we're about 26,000 light years away, um, and so while the black hole is the brightest that we've ever seen it or that it's ever been observed. Uh, that's still not bright enough for that flare to affect us that far away. Our next question is, is Earth going to get swallowed up by the black hole? Uh, so no, uh, it's not going to sw get swallowed up uh, because it's very far away from the black hole. So the black hole is really massive. It weighs as much as four million suns. Um, but even though it's so massive, it only affects the closest uh, few light years to the black hole. So we're 26,000 light years away from the black hole, and here for us at the Earth, it's not really going to affect us uh, at all. So our last question, it's a really popular one. Is it aliens? No, it's not. <laughs> probably not aliens. Are you sure? How do you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, we've been observing the black hole for over 20 years now, and so we know a lot about why it flickers the way we, it does. Um, and there's many explanations that doesn't need to invoke aliens. Also, if you want an explanation that doesn't involve <laughs> physics, you could just say, if this were intelligent life, why would they go that close to a black hole that they would be burning up? <laughs> so, probably not intelligent life. And if you want to learn more about the exciting research that we work on at the Galactic Center Group, go to our website shown below on your screen. Aloha! Aloha. Aloha.